All right, I'm very happy to be here with one of my favorite people in the world. Oh, dude, likewise, though, bro. The honor is mine. E. Reezy, what up? How you doing, Josh? I'm doing very inspired, as you can see. Done a lot of recording this weekend. Yeah? I thought the battery levels looked low. <laughs> yeah, they, they're, <laughs> they're a little dim, but they're, they're strong enough to uh, soldier on. Oh, absolutely. So, E and I are going to be talking about some things in the dating room. Absolutely. The first one like being, we often do. absolutely, this, you know, when guys get together, all we do is talk about girls. Am I right? Yeah. And sports, but mostly sports and not girls, really, you know. That's true. Yeah. So, for whatever reason, I would say society in general, the let's say a political majority, so over 51%. Yeah. It's really all that's needed. 50% plus one. But... I would say it's probably in the realm of between 60 and 70 on yeah. a, on a, let's say on a lunar, a lunar evening. <laughs> 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 um, apparently there is this natural inclination to blame men for everything. And I just could never understand that considering all the wonderful things men do, especially right? in everyone's lives. Absolutely. You want to start off with some ideas or you want me to take the reins on this one? You know what? You're up. All right, cool. I love that continent. So. (laughs) 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 Yes. All right, let's go. Let's roll. So I think a lot of it stems from the historical pattern of guys being traditionally agentic. We are normally the ones taking action out in the world. Do you want to go back, you know, 10,000 BC, we are the guys who are going out, hunting, killing dinner, bringing it back home, skinning it, building a fire, roasting it. A lot of that action-based behavior nowadays, though, isn't geared towards survival. It's trying to live life and doing things out in the world. And I think people still have that sense that guys are at the epicenter for action. And unfortunately, with today's news and the media outlet, focused on sensationalism it's often skewed bad or negative or you know horror stories if you will and a lot of the times it's the guys that are involved in that sometimes unwittingly and the blame gets pinned and it's rather unfortunate and almost in violation of someone's private rights because just speculation alone and based on how people respond to what the media reports they're already convicting them in their mind. So the court of public opinion. Yes. I mean. You're guilty until proven innocent. And once the accusation is made, you're unfortunately seen as guilty until proven otherwise. Right. And also, unfortunately, you're also teaching the younger generation to do that innately. So they're going to do they're doing it from now, let's say in their early ages, and they're definitely going to be doing it later. Yeah. You're teaching this behavior at an impressionable age and you're developing behavior patterns, psychological patterns. If that's what you're indoctrinated into, how are you supposed to deviate when you don't know any other way? And unfortunately, their thoughts present it in a very dogmatic way, and which is mm. incredibly dangerous. Absolutely. It's a very rigid pattern of thinking. Right. So I wonder what you guys think. Why do you think there's so much blame on men in our society? Oh, 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 oh,